The fire is said to have started around 11.45 p.m. on Monday. The fire swept through four rooms before personnel of the National Fire Service brought it under control and prevented the fire from affecting a larger portion of the dormitory. Personal belongings of 75 male students were burnt. Our items are burnt. I mean, we, we don't have a dress, our uniforms, what we do have was what we were putting on last night. And our books, our books are bent. Today I'm having a final practical exam to do, but due to it, I'm not able to be in class. I've lost all, all my uniform. Even this dress I'm wearing, this dress is for a lady who gave it to me this morning. I've lost anything. Principal of the school, Bernard Forsen, told the media some students were injured in the fire. He called on the general public to assist the school with some relief items. There were minor injuries, eight of them. We sent them to the hospital. Seven were discharged, one with a problem of low sugar. So we were asked to come and then this morning to go back and then see his condition. We have a hostel close here that the hostel owner said he has a long room that we can put them there for. Officials of the National Disaster Management Organization have been to the school to offer safety advice. It is unclear what caused the fire, but the fire service has commenced investigations into the incident. Meanwhile, Member of Parliament for New Job in North, A.J. Boatin, has donated 20,000 cities to cater for the immediate needs of the affected students.